<laughs> Not too bad. The dog bailed out on it though. My friends, it is day two of my Adirondack adventure. Far northern New York, about four and a half hours from Manhattan. I actually looked it up on uh, Google Maps yesterday because I was very curious. And I'm in Wilmington today. This is where I've been staying. And the locals yesterday gave me a couple tips because I've got some time in the morning and then I'm gonna do a ride right now and then I'm gonna do another ride in the afternoon. I'm at the Hardy Road trailhead right now. And it's funny because there's so many off to the side of the road trailheads in the Adirondacks. They always have like some kind of sign like this that's brown and yellow and it's very cool. So you just park on the side of the road and you get in the woods. Yesterday's adventure was so good. And uh, so this is the second day of three days of sponsored videos by Adirondacks USA. They brought me out here, they told me about this place and I'm just amazed. I can come to a place sight unseen and the riding be great, the people be great. And it's, it's amazing. It's a testament to how cool mountain biking is. Oh, dang. <laughs> I must have stored my bike in the car in a weird way and not noticed that I was on the fender. It's all bent out of shape. Perfect morning temperature right now. You can feel that it's gonna be hot, but right now, not too bad. Nice, solid climbing trail, which will be a descending trail soon. I'm seeing a lot of alternate rock roll, rock drop uh, lines. Some look giant and some look good. <laughs> I was talking with one of the locals yesterday and he was asking about how every trail has its own sense of place and how the terrain and the rocks and, you know, I don't think there's any, uh, there's no set language, you know, there's no expert. It would be so neat to have like videos about the soil type and the rocks and the type of trees and just what makes certain trails so unique and certain destinations so interesting. And we were kind of talking in the same vein of as wine and I was like, yeah, it's kind of snooty. And, <laughs> and I don't think he took too kindly to <laughs> me calling it snooty. <laughs> I don't think snooty people ever want to be called snooty. <laughs> but I'm willing to own my, my nerdiness and, you know, love of something. And if it's snooty, it's snooty, I don't care. Okay, I've taken all in to side pot which will link in to ante up. So let me get my gloves on. Now we're ready to go. I already see a little side hitter thing. Is it a gap? Nope. Woohoo! My little uh, bent fender is clacking against the frame now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's nice not wearing knee pads <laughs> until it's not. Know what I mean? Okay, this is the Black Diamond Trail, so I'm on the lookout. Okay, now it's back up, fighting to the top. Chugga, 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 chugga. Chugga, 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 chugga. Woo. Oh. This is rated a blue, and the other one's rated a black. <laughs> I feel like they're about the same difficulty. When you're moving, whoa. <laughs> Oh, clip the bar. Where'd my bar and plug go? I'm not losing you. <laughs> Got an acorn stuck in there. Not slowing down. <laughs> it's too fun. Just gotta watch the trees.
<laughs> it's over so quick. <laughs> oh, that was cool. Okay, so now this is a little more all in. Curious about the history of the name. It's all poker related. Any moderators on Trail Forks, add in the description. Add in why the trail has its name. It's cool like for people like me that are visiting and not sure. Get a little bit of lore in there. Okay, this is the rock drop thing. I've got this. Let's have some bark first. No, no. Here we go. That was a perfect speed, I think. A little slow, but not too bad. So the Bark Eaters Trail Alliance is the mountain bike club out here that does the work, gets the volunteers, and it uh, seems like a great club. And you can just tell that there's more and more coming and people are excited. I think there's something about, you know, people that get cooped up in the winter. This is a very frigid place in the winter, but you know, most people do some kind of skiing or some kind of outdoor activity in the winter. But when the summer comes, people are just like exploding with energy and they want to get out and they want to make the most of it. Versus us in California, they're like, eh, 72 degrees and sunny, whatever, it's all good. That'll be tomorrow too. We're never promised tomorrow. So do it today. I think I'm gonna head this way towards a trail called Good Luck. And uh, it's a black diamond and I've already got my hopes up way high because that just sounds like the, the coolest trail name ever. Good luck. <laughs> You're gonna need it. Hope it's tough. I give those little uh, loops a thumbs up. That is a very approachable, very doable for novices, for beginners. Just take your time and there was nothing super crazy and you probably get in a little bit of a groove and uh, it's pretty neat. It's not too physically taxing either like that. That was a good climb, but you rest at the top and have fun. There isn't a lot of stuff like this where it's very, uh, the, the stepping stones of mountain biking. When me and my brother started, there was a couple places that were like a little too easy. And then this place Rockville that I've been a thousand times and I've told you guys about a thousand times, but uh, Rockville's just so tough. So you just, you're, you throw yourself into the fire and you try to get better, but having stuff like this that's in between where you can work on your skills and get comfortable with just breaking and, and climbing and the in-between stuff, it's good to have. But then you also don't want this to be the only level of trail that you have in your area. You need that extra level of difficulty, that stuff that's like, what, how, how does anybody do that? For everyone in the area to actually get better and to rise to the occasion. Here we go, they call it good luck. And I'm lucky it's not wet. <laughs> oh, there's a massive rock slab. <laughs> Riding blind. Ah. Come on, come on, come on. Oh. Ah. No. More power is usually the answer. Oh, come on. <laughs> I went right into that and stuffed myself. Okay, good stuff. You got me this time. <laughs> Don't think I'm not gonna turn around and try to climb back up this. <laughs> we gotta do the whole, whole loop backwards and forwards. Oh dear God. Yeah. Oh, the trail lived up to its name. I love it. This 
is just like a rest spot, <laughs> a viewpoint. Wow. Great start to the day. Okay, that's the loop. You know what that means. Turn around and do it the other way. That trail was so cool. I made it pretty far going counterclockwise without dabbing. So let's see how far I can get going clockwise. Oh no. Oh shoot, straight up slab. Nowhere to stop and rest. No foot down allowed. Oh, that was brutal. Some spice. Okay, there we go. Oh no, this is formidable. Oh, <laughs> yes. <sighs> okay, this spot again. <sighs> okay, tough little section here. I don't remember how much I have left here. But I'm feeling good. Oh yes, I did it! No dab, clockwise. <laughs> oh, so cool. Good luck. Man, counterclockwise is tough. I, uh, I have enough of it in my mind, so maybe if I come back next year, I'll be able to kind of put it together but man wicked okay great start to the day nine miles down who knows how many to go but first it's lunchtime okay so for lunch I headed down to downtown Lake Placid and had an awesome burrito at Wyatt's which was on the recommendation of Dan here and this is the man who actually made this trip happen he works for the regional office of Sustain sustainable tourism and uh, got it all going put this trip together to come to Adirondacks USA and uh, so yeah the least I can do have some lunch with the guy and uh, check out some local spots and now we're gonna have a little a drink what is it sweet Bert's seltzer Sweet birch seltzer. Let's do it. Didn't you buy some yesterday or something? Mm, not me. Man, I didn't know what to expect at all. It's like kind of a maple syrup thing. I've never heard of a birch anything. So maple syrupy, but with the tonic water in it. It's very interesting. Sparkling water stuff is like the next big thing. And I'll give it a thumbs up. So we walked up the street a little bit to the Olympic Center, and this is really cool because it's the original rink for the 1980 Olympic Games and the 1932, I was gonna say 23, the 1932 uh, Winter Games. And it's actually really crazy because there's still like a whole infrastructure around the 1980 games. <laughs> like they're still selling shirts with the 1980 jerseys. They're still selling all kinds of stuff. And it's just a special, special place because people still remember. Five seconds left in the game. Do you believe in miracles? Yes! People still remember watching the game. They still want to come here and, you know, maybe that will kind of ease down as people get older, but maybe not. It's going to be a while. It'll be 50 more years before it gets old. Okay, I just had a really nice couple hours chilling out, doing nothing, hanging out by the lake. And now I'm gonna go head over to Saranac Lake for second ride of the day. Okay, so I made it to Dewey Mountain. They call it the Dew, so we're gonna do the Dew. And I got Josh here, head bark eater. And then a few, <laughs> a few other guys that are able to get out on a four o'clock on a Monday for, for a ride. So we're gonna go, go do the Dew. Let's do it. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha 
<laughs> oh, it's diabolical. It's what I signed up for. <laughs> That's cool. So Josh was telling me that this place has a very strong cross country ski history. And now the mountain biking stuff is starting to come together. Uh oh. <laughs> so I was going to ask these guys if I should wear knee pads and none of them are wearing them, but I just wore them and said, screw it. And now I'm already glad I did. I'm talking to Josh about all the different challenges of building trails and trail networks and volunteers and stuff. And you know, he, he feels like it's taken forever for this to come together. And I look at it like, man, these guys are way ahead. <laughs> like they've got something going. A couple of people I've talked to have said that over the past couple of years, you start to see bikes in town a lot more on the back of trucks, on racks. And the bike thing is starting to crystallize, which I love hearing challenges ahead oh i see it okay oh. <laughs> nice oh shoot it's going right oh man and then a fader to the left i heard about this oh no I gotta do the old, oh, almost went down. <laughs> Following Chris. Ooh, yeah. So how long before your kids are gonna be faster than you, Chris? Yeah. Four years. <laughs> They're gonna be some fast kids. <laughs> yeah! Good stuff. How old are your kids? They are five and seven. Yeah, okay. <laughs> a little bit of a hard hit at the bottom. <laughs> but bam! All right, so now we're on Mumbly Peg Trail, which Chris ahead of me named. And he, he said it's named after this game where you balance a knife on your hand and then you try to let it go and tumble onto something below and try to hit the center of a circle. <laughs> Older kids taught it to me at summer camp or something. <laughs> and I, I was trying to tell someone about it. They're like, that doesn't exist. And then my friend who I went to camp with, like we reconnected. I was like, I gotta ask, do you remember this mumbly pig? She's like, oh yeah, I still play. <laughs> <laughs> Lucy's looking for a shortcut. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> Not too bad. The dog bailed out on it though. <laughs> And you guys built that really well. I'm surprised how tight it is, but how fast we can go. Yeah. Like it's not awkward and demoralizing. That's usually what happens on tight stuff like that. Yes. That was so fantastic. Dude. Nice work, Hell yeah. These trails, man. Glad you enjoyed it. Yeah. Full stoke. <laughs> okay, that was a perfect little ride. I had a blast. And now Josh and I have made our way over to Pisgah, Mount Pisgah ski area normally, but of course now they've got some mountain bike trails. So we're going to go hit them. Okay, we're dropping into the cure. Whoa, yeah, he's gone. So Saranac Lake was uh, used to <laughs> house a sanitarium back in the day. 
and people with tuber tuberculosis would come and get cured. Dr. Trudeau was the man who cured tuberculosis. And so a lot of the trail names have a little reference to uh, Saranac Lake and its history. Whoa. <laughs> okay, a little different. <laughs> yeah! Yeah. Cool. Yep. <laughs> wow. Okay, that was sweet. <laughs> yeah. Let's get another cure. <laughs> That's a cool drop. Whoa, yeah. Oh, man. Still working on them jumps. <laughs> Somebody recently had a really good point. It's like, you need a thousand seconds in the air before you're good at jumping. So, I probably have about 10 seconds total in the air, I would say. So. There was one millisecond right there. This section is super cool. Yeah. That's a, a double I'm not gonna be able to make <laughs> today. Man, thanks for showing me around, man. And thanks for everything you guys do. Awesome to build all this stuff and take care of it. It's a huge job and it just doesn't happen unless people get together and make it happen. Yeah, appreciate it. Bravo. What a cool little day. I've never done a day where I had three bite-sized rides, three different things that were all really cool, but on the smaller side. And I think that lends to a vacation. If you do a mountain bike vacation, you could do five days in a row where you ride 30 miles every day, but I think most of you people, not me, but most of you guys have a family. If you're going on a vacation, it's like you can get a ride in here, but you're not gonna be able to spend the entire day out on a ride if you're with your family. Maybe if you're with your buddies and you're doing like a trip, but uh, this, these little bite-sized things, it's like, okay, I went, I snuck out early in the morning, got a good ride in, and then boom, come back to lunch with the family, the lake, go for a hike, do whatever but there are other big rides out here. You could easily do a 20 mile, 30 mile day on a lot of the stuff that I've done, but uh, I, I dug it. I thought that was like a cool little sampler pack of uh, the Lake Saranac sampler pack. <laughs> it was super cool. So I've got one more day in this beautiful, beautiful place and uh, I'm gonna do Lake Placid trails proper tomorrow and uh, that's gonna be fun. So until then, thanks for watching you guys. I'll see you on the trail.